Hello, hello. Welcome to the packaging video for May's You Be The Maker box kit. I went with this cute sign for the summertime. And so as you can see, um, for this sign, I went ahead and did it on eighth inch birch. Now you can always do it on quarter inch if that's your preference. Um, I'm going to be doing a stain and a dry brush technique for kind of like a sand looking background. And so I wanted to be able to do something that could stain. So that's why I opted not to do MDF. So with this file, you're going to get two different versions of flip-flops. You're going to get these polka dot flip-flops and striped flip-flops. So you can either offer both options to your customers or you can just choose which one you want and just give them just the one option. Um, the backer also comes with two circles that you can opt to cut. The so let's talk about the settings. So I went ahead and I engraved the shiplap lines. You can always set it to score if you want to save about a minute off of your cut time. Um, the little circles are on its own layer, so you can either ignore them or score them, as well as the cutouts around the words and the design. These lines are also such that you can either ignore them or cut them. Then I went ahead and I scored the placement guides. Um, these little circles are cut, so it'll make painting easier for your customers. And let's see if I'm missing anything else here. I think that's the basic gist of the file. So let's go ahead and get our pieces removed. And like always, I'm just going to use masking tape to hold the pieces in place while I pull them out of the laser bed. Okay, I have all the pieces removed from the laser bed now, so come over and join me as we get packaging this month's kit. So now we are going to get our wood pieces ready for the packaging. So I'm going to go ahead and just flip over each of the designs and I'm going to place masking tape across the back to hold the pieces into place for shipping and painting. Okay, so now we have our wood cutouts all ready for packaging. Um, and, and like I said, you don't have to have your words and your designs nested in their cutout. This just makes it easier, in my opinion, for uh, delivering to the customers because you're not having to keep track of three items. You're keeping track of one. Um, so in this case, you would have to worry about all the little holes for the flip-flops and such. So... Here we go, we're gonna go ahead and now you can either place this directly into the box or if you would like to um, package these together so they all stay in one unit, you can either use plastic wrap or even that press and seal. But what I like to do, and I think it looks the best, is use the shrink wrap bags. These links are available on our Subscription Lounge uh, Facebook group page. Um, they're pinned to the announcement section under Supply List. You also get um, 
the links in your packaging and cutting printout. Let's talk about that real fast while we're talking about it. So here's your packaging list and links and here's your cutting guide. The cutting guide will go over how to treat each of the colors. We talked about it over at the laser, but just a refresher, red is to cut. Black, you can either engrave or score the shiplap lines. Turquoise is for scoring the detail and gluing guide pieces. Purple are the little holes along the top that you can either cut if you're hanging the sign. And the blue are the squares around the designs and words for easy packaging and painting. Um, it goes over the packing list and then the links. And this you can either just look on your computer or you can print it off so you have a paper copy while you're packaging. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're going to trim the excess plastic off of the bag. I usually like to leave about a three inch overhang, three to four inch overhang, so that way I do have some wiggle room, but I'm not dealing with a lot of extra plastic. So I'm just gonna go ahead, and in this case, I'm just gonna pop over Here's a half, here's three. I'm just gonna cut it right along. Let me zoom out so you can see what I'm talking about. Right along this line. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Again, this is just getting rid of a lot of the extra plastic. And then you'll just slip your wood pieces. directly in and just kind of place your pieces where you want them to go and then what you're going to want to do is fold this over and just Fold it like such. Okay, um, so at this point, you can use a hair dryer. That's what I have. Um, you can also use a crafting dryer, like a, a crafting um, handheld heat gun dryer. But if you don't have one of those handy, then by all means, you can just use your regular hair dryer. I use it on the hot setting, and I just use it on low, so I'm not dealing with a lot of movement from the bag from excess wind. All right, so now you have your wood all nice and tightly packaged, perfect for local pickup and even more perfect for mailing. So these pieces aren't gonna be floating around the box while it's being shipped. All right, speaking of box, let's go ahead and move on to our boxing. All right, so all of the You Be The Maker box kit files will be created such that you can always use a 12 inch pizza box to ship them in. Again, the links are provided on your instruction sheet as well as in the group. Um, some other group members have discussed getting them elsewhere for more stability if you're worried about mailing these. Um, let is, let's go ahead and let's get this box all cute. I mean, the white box works, but you want a cute box to present to your customers. So with a couple simple adjustments, we can really elevate our You Be The Maker box kits. So because this month's kit is a summer file, I thought that this such a cute paper would be a fun, fun option. 
You can use any paper that you would like. Um, you can do ones that correlate with your with your um, logo colors, but I just went with this one. Now, these next part will be included for your personal printing and use. Um, with the You Be The Maker box kit bundle, you also get box covers as well as little thank you notes just to slip inside your packaging. Now, as you can see, I added a new option for this month. Um, you will get the burlap version as well if you like that more rustic look. But to me, I felt like summer screamed bright colors and chevron pattern. So I made a new version that will also be included in this month's um, download. And that is the chevron bright color options. You'll get six colors. Um, greens, pinks, blues, yellows, just a variety of those mixes with corresponding thank you cards. Now, just a reminder, yours are gonna come blank. My logo will not be in the top of it. You can place your logo there. You can either print it directly on there or you can print it on label stickers and add it however you want or leave it off. Um, and then this area is for you to either write the cus customer's name or to put a shipping label. And then let's go ahead and let's show you how to attach it. All right, so I'm going to lay down some scrap paper. This is just packaging paper that I bought from Walmart. And you're going to lay your papers down on it. And you're gonna just use your spray adhesive. I bought this at Hobby Lobby last year. It lasts a long time. Um, almost any brand will work. You'll just wanna make sure you get it really well around the edges since that's gonna be the part that tends to lift. And now we're going to place the scrap of paper. I forgot to mention the scrap of paper has been cut down to be 11 by 11. So that way it gives you a little bit of border on your box and you're just going to eyeball it, smooth it out. Make sure you press the edges to make sure it doesn't lift. And we're going to do the same thing for this cover box. Um, this, this, uh, sorry, box cover. The box cover prints on eight and a half by 11 paper. I use cardstock, so it was a little bit more durable and the printed scrapbook paper didn't throw, so, show through. And you can just cut it to be eight and a half by eight and a half square. All right, now our cover of our box is ready for our fun you be the maker summer themed kit let's go ahead and talk about the actual packaging of the box all right so you can get tissue paper from dollar tree or amazon and i just use one sheet and i just fold it so it <coughs> fits nicely in the 12 inch box now, all of these steps are completely optional. If you don't want to take um, the extra steps in making it cutesy, then you can go ahead and just put all of your actual items into the box and send it on to its forever home. But I've had a lot of requests on how to elevate the boxing and packaging, and so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and continue to do. All right, so now after I have the tissue down, I'm going to add some of this fun crinkle paper again i got this from amazon um, if you stocked up after easter you could have used any of the fun easter grass colors that they had available but i just went with white since it's good all year round and there's little specks of iridescent um, 
pieces in there too to give it a little bit of shimmer and sparkle. All right, so next we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put in our wood cutouts and we're just gonna nest them right in there. And then we're gonna add our paints. The list of paints are provided in your packaging instructions. Then we're gonna take our sandwich bags and we're gonna fill one of them with a couple diaper wipes. This is completely optional, but they're nice to have on hand when painting so you can keep your fingertips clean and not worry about getting paint smeared onto areas that you aren't wanting painted. So I like to add two or three diaper wipes into a bag. Then I've got right here all my goodies. So I've got in another bag I'm going to put in the Q-tips and the makeup sponges, I usually recommend cutting these, so I only provide two or three of them. This is just a regular kitchen sponge that's been clipped down to a little nice handheld size. This will be used for the staining of the backer piece. And then we've got our little tube of super glue. Again, you can buy little uh, lip gloss squeezy bottles and fill them with your wood glue or glue of choice. Uh, I believe it was on the supply link that one of our members was suggesting that that's how she handles her glue. And then depending on if you are having them hang their sign or not, you can provide either twine or a table easel if they're going to stand it on a table. Uh, we do have that file available on our site, juliediditstudios.com. I believe it's under stands. And it's a $4 file, plus you get at least 30% off. So you're looking at a dollar or two um, to get a table easel stand and it is made such that it accommodates any wood thickness from eighth inch to a quarter of an inch. Uh, and if you did want to provide the table easel, you could have gone ahead and put it in with the other wood cutouts. Then I'm going to provide a one and a half inch chip brush and that is for the distressing and then the plates. And you can go ahead and package it all up. And then last, you can add a little thank you note. Um, like I said, yours will come blank, but you can go ahead and put your little logo in it and do a little signature on it and away it goes. Or if you want, you can add promotions or notify them of upcoming sales that you're having. So in this case, it says, crafting is more fun with friends, buy two or more kits and save 15% off. Use code FUNFRIENDS or however you wanna word it. It's just an idea to put in instead. These little cards are super easy to print and are also included in the bundle. So we're just gonna go ahead and put that in here. Then we're going to add in at the top our instructions. So when this will walk them through the painting, you can also include the link to the video that I provide if you so desire, um, or you can make your own video. And then you can just go ahead and close it up. And your cute box is ready to go to its forever home. If you are mailing it, I would recommend that you add some packing tape around it just to keep it closed during transit. Um, but for local pickups, it's completely optional if you want to um, tape it shut. 
but I hope you enjoyed this guide for packaging this month's You Be The Baker Maker box kit. Go ahead and join me over on the painting tutorial to teach you and your customers how to finish our Living Life in Flip Flops sign. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.